Come, come closer, come closer. Come over here. Since you're the tallest, over here. <laughs> Filipinos, Filipinos are short. Hello, how are you? Thank you. So you're holding the candle. So I'm gonna tell you when you're gonna when you're gonna light that candle. Okay? So do not light it. Do not light the candle now. Do not light the candle now. Do not. Everything should be in darkness. Do not light the candle. No, no, no. Do not light the candle. Okay. Do not light the candle. Turn it off. Do not light the candle. Up, up, up. Okay. Are you ready? Father Francisco, stay with me. I'm going to ask you now to please stand. Those who are inside, to please stand. My dear friends in Christ, on this most holy night, when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, the church invites her children from throughout the world to come together in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord. If we honor the memory of his death and resurrection by hearing his word and, and celebrating his mysteries, then we be confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever in God. And let us pray. We share in the light of your glory to your Son, the light of the world. Make this new power holy and plume us with new hope. Purify our minds by this Easter celebration and bring us one day to the feast of eternal light. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Christ, yesterday, today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. All times belong to him. In the to him and all ages, to him be glory and power. To every age forever. Amen.
and by his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ our Lord guard us and keep us. Amen. Okay, servers. Convene. Christ our life. Thanks be to God. Christ our life. Thanks be to Now, my friends, I will now welcome those who will baptize, those who will be confirmed with their godparents, sponsors, and their parents.
Kan. Me aguanto. Please. Exalt, let them exalt the host of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpets of salvation sound the loud our mighty king's triumph. Be glad, let her be glad as glory floods her. Ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice. Let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lighting of His glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. Therefore, dearest friends, Standing in the awesome glory of this holy night, invoke with me, I ask you, the mercy of God Almighty, that he who has been pleased to number me, the unworthy among the Levites, may pour into me his light unshadowed, that I may sing this candle's perfect praises. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and right. It is truly right and just, with ardent love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ, our Lord, His Son, His only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the Eternal Father, and pouring out His own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feast of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoint the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you led our forebears, Israel's children, from slavery in Egypt and made them pass dry shot through the Red Sea. This is the night 
that with a pillar of fire banish the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. Our birth would have been no gain had we not been redeemed. O oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessarily sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer. O oh, truly blessed night, Worthy alone to know the time and hour when Christ rose from the underworld. This is the night of which it is written, the night shall be as bright as day. Dazzling is the night for me and full of gladness. The sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen and joy to mourners, drives out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. On this your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of beasts and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honor. A fire into many flames divided, yet never dimmed by our sharing of its light. For it is fed by melting wax, drawn out by mother bees to build a torch so precious. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those on earth and divine to the human. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray you that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, a morning star who never sets. Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity 
and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, we have begun our solemn vigil. Let us now listen attentively to the Word of God, recalling, recalling how He saved His people throughout history, and in the fullness of time, sent His own Son to be our Redeemer. To the Easter celebration, may God bring to perfection the saving work he has begun in us, and prove worthily and prove worthy of the heritage of Israel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he night. called Thus evening came, and morning followed, then the first God day. Said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters, to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome, and it separated the water above the dome from water below it. God called the dome. The sky. Evening came, and morning followed, the second day. Then God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered into a single basin so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth and the basin of water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on the earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning followed, the then, third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the doom of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the sky, in the dome of the sky, to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky so shed, to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw 
how good it was. Evening came and morning followed, the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the waters of the sea, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things on of the earth. God saw how it good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the seas, the birds of the sky, and the cattle, and over all the wild creatures and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seeds bearing fruit in it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus... The heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.
to be moved forever with the ocean as with a And let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you created all things in wonderful beauty and order. Help us now to perceive, to perceive how still more wonderful is the new creation. By within the fullness of time, you redeem your people through the sacrifice of our Passover. Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. 
The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you will lift up your staff, and with hand stretched out over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all of his army, his chariots and his charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God, who had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them, so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch, just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic. And so he clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and, dawn, and at dawn, the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped, but the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him 
and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. into the sea my strength and my courage is the Lord and he has been my Savior he is my God I praise him the God of my father I extol him Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name, Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The flood waters covered them. They drank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O oh Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O oh Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. You brought in the people you redeemed and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seed, O oh Lord. The sanctuary which your hands established, the Lord has reigned forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory.
Uh, let us pray. God of love, even today we see the wonders of the miracles you worked long ago. You once save a single nation from its slavery, and now you offer the salvation to all through baptism. May the peoples of the world become true sons and daughters of Abraham and property of the heritage of Israel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come, without paying and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not. And nations that knew you not shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Springs of salvation. 
And let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, only hope of the world, by the preaching of the prophets, you proclaim the mysteries we are celebrating tonight. Help us be your faithful people, for, it's your by, for it is by your inspiration alone that we can grow in goodness. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, my friend, let's give thanks and praise and glory to our loving God.
And let us pray. And Lord God, you have brightened this night with the radiance of the risen Christ and quickened the spread of, the spread of oneness in your church. Renew us in mind and body to give you wholehearted service. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And now the first reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead, by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For, we, for if we have grown into union with him through death like this, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our simple body might be done away with that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourself as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord's right hand has struck with power. The Lord's right hand is exalted. I shall not die but live and proclaim the works of the Sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early, when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, Who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him, but go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. He's risen. Hallelujah. 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 He's risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's risen. Thank you, Father Francisco. <laughs> Good evening, my friends. On behalf of Father Francisco, the convent, the pastoral staff, and the volunteers, the Finance Council, the Pastoral Council, on behalf of them, I would like to welcome all of you on this glorious, beautiful night, this circuit night, this night of victory and redemption. We welcome you. I'd like to welcome those who are visiting us tonight. Anyone here from out of state, from out of town, here for the family, anyone visiting us tonight, raise your hands. Okay, are you the only one? Welcome, welcome to our community. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Arizona, wow. Amazing, thank you. As I said, my friends, earlier, Tonight is the night, the night of all the nights, my friends. On this holy night, we, the climax of the Easter freedom, 
this Easter video that began on Holy Thursday when we gathered that night on Holy Thursday to celebrate the gift of the Eucharist, the gift of the priesthood, and the gift of the humble service. And then on Good Friday, we gathered to celebrate the sacrifice on the cross. And now, tonight, the climax, the night of all the nights, my friends, this Easter video, in which I will baptize these young ones. I'll baptize Isabel, Kayla, Redin, Emily, David, Asmina, and How. How are you? <laughs> How are you, How? Yes. A beautiful night, my friends, to relieve, to recreate, and to recapture an experience that happened years ago, many years ago, to re recreate, to relieve, to, to recapture what happened years ago, my, friend, my friends. Tonight will be a night of beauty, of redemption, of salvation. This is the Passover night, my friends. This is the Passover night in which Jesus, my friends, passed over from death to life, from isolation to freedom. This is the night, this is the glorious night, the climax of the Easter freedom that began on Holy Thursday. You know, I love writing love letters. When I was in high school, I've written so many love letters so to many young girls in my high school. Yes, I have written so many love letters to the many young ladies in my high school. And of course, it was so exciting to do this. I mean, to give thanks, filled with appreciation, with gratitude for their beauty, and I did that for four years that I was in high school. And they all fell in love, not with me, <laughs> but with my friends whom I write, whom I wrote a letter for them. <laughs> them. Tonight, you know, tonight, Isabel, Kayla, Redden, Emily, David, Asmina, Howe, Pedro, Giselle, Diego, Mariel, Nancy, and William. Tonight will be a different night. It's a night when we come together to listen to the love letters that God has written for us. Perhaps you are here today because God sent those the same love letters that he sent to, uh, to me and to many of us. You received that love letter. That's why you are here today, to be part of this moment, this moment in the life of the church, in which we will recapture that moment of salvation, of victory, right? What a beautiful night. Are you excited? Are you excited to be here? Right? Isabel, are you excited? Yes. How many family members did you invite tonight? I don't know because there's too many. There's too many. Yes. Huh? Give her a big hand. Mm. Tonight, you heard those readings on how God created you, on how God created us, on how God has chosen us, on how God has saved us, delivered us, and redeemed us from darkness into light, from despair into hope, from doubt to faith, on how God delivered us, redeemed us, and saved us from darkness, right? 
What a wonderful night for us to be gathered here today. I'm looking forward to being with you in the waters of baptism. And then after that, I will confirm Pedro, Giselle, Diego, Marielle, Nancy, and William. Together with them, you will also receive the sacrament of grace, the gift of the Holy Spirit. Three in one today, in which you will gather with us at the table of the Lord. Three in one, the sacraments of baptism, of the Eucharist and confirmation, right? Today is the night. It is the night of victory, the climax, a night of Passover, of deliverance. This is the night of joy and celebration and thanksgiving. I congratulate you. I'm very proud of you today. You are here today because you received that same love letter from God. The same love letter that we received years ago to tell us how much He loves us, to tell us how much He loves you. I know that you are coming from different faith experience and life experience. You have a lot of stories to share and to tell. I'm glad that I heard the stories from you. How proud I am and how proud you are in your journey. You've been with us during the last 40 days and for others during the last six months. You've been with us, journeying with us, carrying different expressions of thanksgiving and celebration, carrying different stories of your life. Thank you. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for choosing to be here with us, with your family, with your friends. Thank you for being part of this celebration and allowing me, and allowing me to be part of your life. Thank you so much. I am so honored. I am so honored to be part of this celebration. We gather, my friends, in the most compelling images of human condition. Despair and hope, darkness and light, slavery and freedom, life and death. Tonight is the night when all these things will change. This is the night of new beginning. This is the night of promise. Bishop Fulton Shen said that it's the night of beginning when we leave everything behind and to trust God in our journey to the waters of baptism. This is a new beginning. This is a night of new beginning of deliverance. God is a God of everything, the God who created us. And today, and today, he believed in you. He believed in you that you will go with him to paradise, into the waters of life. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you to be part of this celebration. Give them a big hand. I will now bless this water that I'm going to use to baptize these children. God, our Father, you gave us grace through the sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In the waters of baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of grace you gave us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of, of all holiness, 
the water of the great flood, you made a sign of waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you will Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed by the Holy Spirit. Your son willed that the water and blood should flow from his side. And after his resurrection, he told his disciples, God and taste all the nations, baptizing them in the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Look now with love upon your church and unseal for the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to the water, to the water of this grace of your Son. So in the sacrament of baptism, all those you, whom you have created in your likeness may be cleansed from sin and rise to, new, to a new birth of innocence. By water of the Holy Spirit, look now with love upon your church and seal for her the fountain of baptism. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, let's pray to Almighty God for our brothers and sisters who are asking for baptism. He, had called, he has called them and brought them to this moment. May grant them light and strength to follow Christ with hearts and to, face, and to profess the faith of the church. May give them new life of the Holy Spirit whom we are about to call down on this water. Please kneel. Pray for us, Pray for us, Saint Clare, Saint Edna, 
Jesus of the living God, give new life to these chosen ones by the grace of baptism. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Now, my friends, we will now come to this moment. We are baptized these new members of the church. Remember in the gospel today, you heard when Mary Magdalene and the other women went to the tomb, who was there? Who was there to greet them? A man who was wearing a white garment, right? A follower of Christ. He was there last Sunday. Remember that man in the gospel last Sunday? Remember? They were going to arrest him. This man who was wearing white garment. And he escaped. He escaped. Remember? You don't remember. <laughs> right? And then he made his way to the tomb. See? He escaped from the authorities who was wearing a white garment, and he made his way to the tomb, right? And of course, we know that when the women got to the tomb, what happened? The stone had been rolled away. The stone, the tomb of darkness and isolation, the stone of doubt, and the stone of fear and arrogance has been rolled away to give way to hope, to life, to love, to new beginning, to power and mystery. Right? And then what did the young man say to them? What did he say? Go and tell the good news. The one who was crucified, the one who died, is not here. Tell my friends. Tell everybody. Right? The stone had been rolled away, my friends, to give way to light and hope and freedom and strength and power. Later on, you'll be baptized. You'll be confirmed. And you are invited the same way to go out to run away from the tomb and proclaim that Jesus is risen from the dead. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for your mission? Yes? Okay, I'm going to ask now our faith formation director to please call those who will baptize. First, um, we call on Isabel Sanchez Cavanesia. Are you ready for this? Yes. 
Oops. Isabel, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Next, we call on Kayla Gonzalez. Hello, Kayla. How are you? Are you ready for this? Yes. All your friends, family are here, right? Yes. Kayla, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Next, we call on Raiden McKenzie. How are you ready then? Yes. Are you ready for this? A lot of family members here? Yes. Raiden, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Next, we call on Emily Navarrete. Hello, Emily. How are you? Everybody here with you? How many? A lot. <laughs> oh, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> are you ready for this? Okay. Emily, I baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Next, we call on David Arouse. Hello, David. How are you? Wow. Are you ready? Yes. You look wonderful. Thank you. You are King David, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> David, I baptize you in the name of the Father 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. From our RCIA program, Asmina Bia 4. <clears throat> Hello, Asmina. It's been a long journey, huh? Eh? Yes, yes. Wow, so glad you, that you did this. Thank you. So happy for you happy. and for your family. You. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. Yes. You are all smile. <laughs> wow. You are happy. I am. Asmina, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Also from our RCIA program, How Lee. And the uh, Godfather is Father Francisco. <laughs> Your glasses. How? How are you? <laughs> are you ready for this? Similar yes. it's been a long journey, but I'm so glad that you are here with me in the waters of baptism. Thank are you ready for this? Yes. Are you ready to have Father Francisco as your Godfather? And I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. No, he's a very holy man. Yeah. Holy man, holy yes. man. Yes. yes. How? I baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 May God bless this cross a sign of Prince of love, humility and faith and love and compassion to the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Now please stand for the renewal of baptismal promises to be done by Deacon Ben. Dear friends, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may rise with him to newness of life. Now that we have completed our Lenten observance, let us renew the promises that we made in baptism when we reject Satan and his works and promise to serve God faithfully in his holy Catholic Church. My dear candidates, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children. I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. Now we have our sprinkling rite. Bye. 
Be seated. Wait quietly for Father Jeffrey to return.
My dear friends, my brothers, my brother, you're the only one. <laughs> my brother and my sisters, you have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. That light will be your guide as you journey from the waters of baptism, as you proclaim that Jesus is risen from the dead. I'm going to ask now the godparents and sponsors to please come behind their godchild. As Mina, oh, how? You are how? How receive the sign of your Christian dignity? As Mina, receive the sign of your Christian dignity. David, receive the sign of your Christian dignity. Redden, receive the sign of your Christian dignity. Isabella, Isabel, Isabella, whatever it is, that's you. <laughs> receive the sign of Christian dignity. Kayla, receive the sign of your Christian dignity. And Emily, receive the sign of your Christian dignity. I'm going to ask now the, those who will be confirmed to please come up with their sponsors. If Nancy doesn't have anyone behind him, because I am the sponsor, okay? <laughs> Can you distinguish the light now? Distinguish the light. Can you get, can you get the light? Can you get the lights, the candles? This is now the moment. We are com I will confirm our brothers and sisters with the Christian oil. My dear candidates of, for confirmation, by your baptism, you have been born again in Christ and you have become members of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share in that pouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost, and given by them and their successors, the baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are about to receive, will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, 
death and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and inspire you to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. And let us pray for our brothers and sisters. That the Spirit of God be upon them during this confirmation to strengthen them with His gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your spirit upon your servant, upon your servants, to be your helper and helper and guide. Give the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill him with the spirit of wonder and awe in, in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Read them. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Wow. Isabella, receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Wow. Okay. Kayla, receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Hello, Emily. Emily, receive the be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. All spirit. Pedro. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Then you need more oil. Yeah. <laughs> Giselle. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. My God daughter. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. William, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And peace be with you. A sign they have been that you have received the Holy Spirit. My friends, I am so honored and happy to introduce to you genuinely baptized and confirm new members of the church.
And now let us offer our prayers to our loving God on this Easter night as we celebrate this climax of God's creation, the Paschal mystery, the Passover from death to life. That our Holy Father, that our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Bishop Michael, all bishops and priests, will inspire renewed Easter faith and encourage Christ-based love for the poor of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That peace of the risen Christ may reign among the national leaders and peoples of the world to heal the wounds of violence, terrorism, and injustice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who were baptized, confirmed, or entered into full communion with the Catholic Church last night during the Easter Vigil, that they may continue to grow in faith and love of God in their Christian journey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our parish community, united in spirit, we may joyfully celebrate the Paschal Mystery and become community of the Resurrection and for all special intentions we hold in the silence of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick and the suffering, may they turn to Christ, the Divine Physician, for healing and strength for all the faithful departed souls that through the resurrection of Jesus, they may, they may be brought into the inheritance of heaven and for their families and for the particular intentions of this Mass. Shirley Contest Antonio, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God most loving Father, on this Easter night, when we celebrate the Passover from death to life, we come in faith and in thanksgiving, humble that you hear our prayers. Be with us, and we offer our prayers through Christ, who is the risen one. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Oh,
My friends, we pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. Accept we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries May by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do will always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever. On this Easter night, when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice, He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, He destroyed our death, and by rising, He restored our life. We praise You, Lord. 
with all the angels in their song of joy. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Father, you are holy indeed, and all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you. To your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit, from age to age, you gather people to yourself, so that from east to west, a perfect offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Father, we bring you these gifts, and we ask you to make them holy, by the power of your Spirit, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and give you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise and gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. In this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Father, 
calling to mind the death your son endured for our salvation, his, res his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and ready to greet him when he comes again. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. And look with favor on your church offering and see the victim whose death has reconciled us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son may be filled with Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. Que Él nos transforme en ofrenda permanente para que gocemos de tu heredad, para que gocemos de tu heredad juntos con tus elegidos, con María, la Virgen, Madre de Dios, su esposo San José, nuestro santo patrono, los apóstoles y los mártires y todos los santos por cuya intercesión Confiamos obtener siempre tu ayuda. Te pedimos, Padre, que esta víctima de reconciliación traiga la paz y la salvación al mundo entero. Confirma en la fe y en la caridad a tu iglesia peregrina en toda la tierra y a tu servidor, el Papa Francisco, a nuestro obispo Michael al orden episcopal, a los presbíteros y diáconos y a todo el pueblo redimido por ti. A quienes han sido admitidos en el seno de tu iglesia por el bautismo, los catecúmenos que han llegado a ser miembros de tu iglesia y los que se han confirmado. Atiende los deseos y súplicas de esta familia que has congregado en tu presencia. Reúno en, reúne en torno a ti, Padre misericordioso, a todos tus hijos dispersos por el mundo, a nuestros hermanos difuntos y a cuantos murieron en tu amistad a través de los... Recíbelos en tu reino, donde esperamos gozar juntos de la plenitud eterna de tu gloria. Por Cristo, Señor nuestro, por quien concedes al mundo todos los bienes. Por Cristo, con él y en él, a ti Dios, Padre Omnipotente, en unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria, por los siglos de los siglos. On this holy night, on this night of Passover and victory, we give thanks to God, to our Father. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Liberal de todos los males, Señor, y concedes la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado, y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Dios es el reino, tuyo el poder y la gloria por sí. 
And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. And peace to all of you. Those who are watching at home, happy Easter and peace to all of you. Happy, happy Easter, Easter and peace. Thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Peace, happy Easter. peace for you. Beautiful. Good. Hermanos, hermanas, behold the Lamb of God, Cordero de Dios, que quita el pecado del mundo. And happy are those who are called to this supper. Lord, I'm not worthy. Should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. And now they will now receive their first communion.
Father Francisco, right here.
morning is new. Rise from your sleeping and run to the tomb. Come and see. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the feast with unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this Paschal sacrament, one in mind, and heart to Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Happy Easter! Happy Easter! He's risen! Alleluia! 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 He's risen! You can do better than that. Let's do it again. He's risen! Alleluia! 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 He's risen! Alleluia! There is a problem in Christianity. <laughs> we are not united. <laughs> wow, it's so nice to be here, to be part of this celebration. Really, it's a wonderful night, a holy night, a glorious night. First, on behalf of Father Francisco de Conven, you members of this community, I would like to thank first Paul Miller, our sacristan. And all the sacristans and the ushers, I'd like to thank also all our Eucharistic ministers, spirit those who serve today. I'd like to thank Neil Pierce and all the lictors. Give him a big hand. I'd like to thank Katia Di Melanta and all the servers that served during Lent. And to, tonight, give him a big hand. I'd like to thank those in our Simple Evangelization Media Ministry to Ricky first over there in the middle, uh, Eric, and we have David, and we have Sylvia. Give me a big hand. I mean, this was live stream throughout the world. Even the Pope is watching. <laughs> and I'd like to thank Michael Chiyo and the choir. Yes, thank you so much. It's a wonderful, wonderful celebration, my friends. I cannot ask for more, really. And to you, today, there is a new birth for you. There is a new birth. You are inspired. Today, you are consecrated. And today, tonight, you are empowered. There is rice in you. Rice. You are birth. You are inspired. You are consecrated. You are empowered. Are you inspired, consecrated? Are you ready to go out and proclaim that Jesus is risen from the dead? Yes. yes. Right? He is really risen. You know, my friend, it started with a small group of men and women. I mean, they were so excited to proclaim that Jesus is risen, that the stone of hatred and fear and isolation and darkness and arrogance and selfishness have been rolled away to give way for peace, hope, love, deliverance, freedom and light a new beginning right and a new beginning today this is your new beginning all of us here today and we are all invited to to run away from the tomb and proclaim that jesus is risen from the dead remember my friends there are only few men and women at the beginning right but the good news cannot be contained. That's why they proclaim the good news. The good news cannot be contained. Right? If there's a good news, what do you do? You share that with others, right? You share that with your family. I hope that Jesus is present in your workplace. I hope that Jesus is present in your household, in the streets that you walk. I hope that the reason Christ is present anywhere you go, right? Again, to remind you, only few of them at the beginning. And now, how many billions of Catholics and Christians all over the world, right? But we need more. And we need to do more to proclaim that Jesus is risen. That there is a Christ who is alive, right? That he's risen, right? Remember those 
uh, witnesses at the tomb. When the young man said, he's not here, the one who died, the one who was crucified is not here. Proclaim. Proclaim that man that is risen from the dead. Can we do this? Right? Can we do this? Yes. yes. Again, to the faith formation, to the RCIA, our catechists and teachers, to uh, Miss Christine Suarez, I'm going to ask the members of the RCIA and the faith formation to please stand and give them a big hand. Here they are, my friends. Only the catechists. Here they are. Thank you so much. Uh, you guided them in their journey toward the waters of life. Right? It's so wonderful to be part of this. Right? Something new is a new beginning. as a night of Passover from death to life. Alleluia. He's risen. Alleluia. 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 Okay, repeat after me. <laughs> He's risen. risen. Alleluia. 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 He's risen. Alleluia. There you go. Easy, right? We can do this. Yeah. And by the way, uh, on April 14, we have the Dinneri Tagalog Mass. So those who are from the Philippines, if you want to attend the Tagalog Mass in English. <laughs> Bow your head. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Did I thank the servers? I did, right? Yes. Yeah. May Almighty God bless you to today's Easter solemnity and his compassion depend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the price of immortality. Amen. Amen. And now that the days of the Lord's passion has drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast Come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those peace that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve our God and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. And Mark also, thank you for the fire. Thank you so much. My friends, in Spanish, Feliz Pascua! In Tagalog! How do you say it? Happy Easter! He's risen! Alleluia! Alleluia! He's risen! Alleluia! Okay. Happy Easter! Jesus.